At 8 o'clock this morning, I heard uh, fabulous news. I got an email saying that the Keynote 24 study was positive. This is a trial we've been waiting for for a long time, randomizing patients to either chemotherapy, which is the standard of care for metastatic lung cancer, or this new immunotherapeutic agent, uh, pembrolizumab, uh, made by Merck. Uh, the study was closed early because it was so positive. So not only did patients not progress as quickly, but the overall survival was improved. Now, the press release didn't tell us the magnitude, but we know that the study was designed looking for major effects. So if we were to be talking baseball, they were looking to hit a home run, and it sounds like they did. So if everything goes according to plan, this will go through the Food and Drug Administration, the FDA, it will be approved and it will be available for a very large population of lung cancer patients. The reason we're so excited about this trial and this drug class uh, in general is because it's an entirely new way to attack cancer. Um, it's um, immunotherapy, so it means it uses the body's own immune system, but it does it in a very special way. Uh, the way I explain this to my patients is analogy to the stealth bomber. Everyone knows that radar can't detect the stealth bomber. Well, cancer cells use a mechanism to be able to block the immune system recognizing the cancer is foreign. So this antibody blocks that stealth bomber uh, concept and allows the body's immune system to then attack the cancer. Patients like this, physicians like this, because there are very few side effects and yet this is a situation where we know that chemotherapy and other drugs have limited uh, activity. Uh, this drug and its cousins, other drugs like it, have already been improved in other cancers such as melanoma, and it's been approved in lung cancer, but only after fa patients have failed chemotherapy. This study today shows us that you can take it into what we call frontline, the very first thing that a patient would receive, and that they would not have to go through the side effects of chemotherapy, so very exciting. The other thing that's so interesting about this study and this class of drugs is trying to figure out, is there some marker that we can use to select the patients who are most likely to benefit. This study did that. They measured what's called PDL1 in the tumor, and only those patients with a high expression, greater than 50% of the cells in the specimen, being positive were allowed to enter the study. So this is very important because what it tells us is who's most likely to benefit. It also might spare patients from the cost and the toxicity of the drug when they are not as likely to benefit. And we talk about value a lot in medicine and in oncology these days. So this is also cost effective because it means we'll be picking a group of patients who are most likely to benefit from the drug. This is the definition of precision medicine.